Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to update your Nintendo Switch with custom firmware installed to the latest version without having to connect it to the internet. So as you guys can see, my Nintendo Switch right now, the current version is 5.1.0 and I want to update this to 6.0. Point one. And I don't want to connect my Nintendo Switch to the internet because otherwise I will get banned because I have custom firmware and a few homebrew apps installed. So the first thing that you want to do just to get this working is hold your Nintendo Switch's power button just until the menu comes up. Go to power options and then power off. So now we can take out our SD card and then connect it to our PC. Also guys, there is one more thing to note. Um, this works best on Renix and um, Hecate. I'm pretty sure this doesn't work on SXOS. So if you have um, Renix, I would definitely recommend using that instead. But let's just take out our SD card, connect this to our PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. So once you're on your computer and your Nintendo Switch's SD card is connected, you want to go to the first link in the description. And this is the software that we will be using um, to install our um, latest firmware version without actually having to connect our Nintendo Switch to the Wi-Fi connection. So all you want to do is scroll down and you're looking for the latest version of the program. So just click on this zip file right here and it will just begin downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in here. So double click to go onto the zip file and all we're looking for is this NRO file right here. And we are going to drag and drop that into our Nintendo Switch's Switch folder. So once that is copied across, we next need to sort out our firmware. So I've downloaded the firmware. I can't link this unfortunately. Um, hopefully it might be in the comments, so just have a look at the comment section. But you will need to get the firmware version um, so you can install it. So once you've got it, go into the zip file, find the firmware in here and just drag that out to your downloads folder. Now on your SD card, you just want to right click and create a new folder and just call it firmware. Just like that. Now go back onto your downloads folder and you just want to drag across your 6.0.1 firmware folder into the firmware folder. So just drag and drop it across. Um, firmware files for the Nintendo Switch are roughly above 200 megabytes. So just give this a minute or two just to copy across. So once you have got your firmware and the homebrew app copied across, we can now disconnect our SD card from our PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So now we can simply just put our SD card back into our Nintendo Switch and I'm going to boot into my Renix custom firmware um, using my RFRS dongle so you guys should be well, well aware of um, how this works by now. But just really quickly, um, a dongle, RCM jig, hold the volume up key and the power key at the same time. Then you'll get the Renix boot screen and now it will boot into the custom firmware. Okay, so on my Nintendo Switch again, this time we want to open up the album. Now we want to open up this program. Now I can't even pronounce that name. Choi Dujo NX, something like that. So just press A uh, to launch it. So once we're on here, we actually need to browse our firmware. So you can just tap on the firmware icon and then tap on this folder right here. And now what you need to do is just click on the choose button right here. So you can see that it can update to 6.0.1. I'm just going to tap on the X fat one. Just wait for it to analyze the firmware. If there are any errors with the firmware, it will tell you right here. And maybe the download might be corrupted or something. But when it's looking fine like this, just tap on select firmware. Then it's just going to extract the package and now you can tap on start installation. So what it's doing now is just actually updating the firmware. You can see what my current firmware is and what the target firmware is. So just give this a couple of minutes. It shouldn't take too long, but I'm just going to let mine um, do its thing. Okay, so once everything is finished, you actually just want to tap the reboot button down here. So what this is going to do is just reboot your console. Um, you can 
I'd probably just recommend just waiting for the countdown timer just to make sure everything works quickly. So just wait the 30 seconds it says and then your uh, Nintendo Switch will successfully reboot. So once your Nintendo Switch has rebooted, um, I didn't bother rebooting back into Runix, I just let it reboot like without custom firmware. Um, you can actually just find out. So if you go into your system settings and then just scroll all the way down and go into system, last option, you guys can see current system version is now 6.0.1. This doesn't mean you can go online, you will still get banned. Um, but now we're on their newest version so you know there might be a few new cool things you can do and maybe you can get some like new homebrew apps and stuff so that is pretty much it for this video that is how you update your nintendo switch without having to connect to the internet so your nintendo switch won't be banned so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one